Hey guys, how is it going? We're back in another Crucible Tycoon video and today I'm finally going to do it because it's been forever because I've been doing my mission and I actually finally finished a couple of days ago so I can finally do it because now I can actually, you know, I, as you can see I've already redone my ship but I'm actually not like really, I'm not really loving it because um, I want to do, I want to do better with my ship, I want to get 5 stars and today that's exactly what this video is going to be about, getting your ship to 5 stars because I see a lot of people complaining or well, asking about what does this thing do, why, what does I do, how do I get basic needs up, everything will be answered in this video, video. Hopefully, I think, because I think I'm pretty sure I have a basic grasp of how everything in this game works. So, um, let me explain after the intro. So, yeah, let's just get right into this video. So, yeah, guys, as you heard from that intro there, we are actually going to be talking about how to actually get 5 stars on your ship. Well, what you have to do to get 5 stars on your ship. So you may not like it and you may think like, well, I, want, I don't want to do something like that. That's totally fine. Do whatever you want. This is just a video telling you how you do, how to do it if you feel so if you Well, this is just a video telling you how to do it if you want to do it. So just keep that in mind and let's just get into it. So the first thing is we're going to talk about the actual star system. So as you see in here, we have the five stars, just like, you know, in Retail Tycoon, we have those five stars. The system is a bit different. Well, it's the same, but there's different like measures and stuff on how stuff works. So if you click on it right down here, you should be able to do that. You get into here where you have your name of the company, you know, the name of the save file you made when you start the game and then the name of your ship right here. But as you can see, we have our ship ratings right here, which can go from one to five stars. Um, and then we have basic needs, which are all the all these five down here all count for this here. So it's basically taking all of these and taking the average of these five different ranks here so it takes this here plus this plus this plus this divided by the number of all these and then you get this ship ratings basic math so crowd um, basic needs is anything that has to do with um food in here um furnish is the uh, tables you sit at and also rooms of uh, the toilets right down here so basically you need bathroom points you need uh well, there's no seating points, but you need a place to sit, and then you also need food points. They determine like what you get on basic needs. So let's just go upstairs um, on the next deck and just put in a bunch of food and see how that works. And they'll also just put in a bunch of seating. I'm just doing this to show I'm not actually gonna make my ship like this. This is just to show you guys how actually you could do this. Please don't do it like this. This is really ugly, but the, again, it's just a show. So just fill your ship out like this and then you want to take of course some stairs so they can actually get upstairs just like this. You want to go boom and then I'm just going to take some little ugly stairs like this and now they can actually get upstairs. So we should already see some improvements in here once uh, once they actually get working. But we shouldn't actually start seeing change because supplies, these are right here, no these right here actually also determine some points of the um, basic needs. So what you want to do is also just go into edit mode which I was looking for. You want to grab some uh, utilities, you want to go some freezers, just gonna take the big ones because they are more valuable and then put some of those in and then you want to put in some um, supplies. I would recommend you not doing this if you have a small ship but just starting out because it's going to cost a bit of money and when you only have 50,000 when you start out, it's not the smartest thing to do to just waste your money on looking at stars. So um, you want to get some food in so, they, uh, so it actually works in here. Um, and then you also just want to put in a bit of toilets. So I'm just going to throw something in now here. You can see I've already done that. Get the big rooms because they are more valuable. Um, as in like how their prices are a bit better. So I'm uh, just going to take a, bit, a bunch of bathrooms. Just going to put them all along like this. Put them in. Let's see. So I'm just going to put a bit more. Just like this. Just to see how it goes. And let's see. See our basic needs is, are already skyrocketing. Um, as you can see, they're all doing fine. We have three point, uh, what's that? I would say six stars. And it's hard to tell because it does. It just shows a portion of it. Um, but that's basically just everything you need. Um, getting on to um, crowdedness, you can see we already have five stars. But that is because the crowdedness is dependent on the amount of passengers on your ship, dependent on ship size. So each ship has a limit on how many passengers are able to be on a ship before the crowdedness goes down. So we, let's see, we have about, uh, um, let's see, 32 passengers, and I think the limit for the Albatross is about 86, so um, that would be, 
about let's see eight more that's that's 64 so we're just going over one two three four five six seven eight just like that i did that wrong again and um we're going to do one two let's see 64 so that means we need a couple more uh, let's just do one two three four that's 12 that's uh 16 16 plus that that is i don't i'm not fast math in my head um, so let's see how many passengers we have aboard. We still have that, so let's just unload and load them again to see what we have. We have 80, so we can have uh, one more room and then one more um, suit, and then we can have one mini suit just to make it fill, just to fill out everything. This is our. I think that would be our limit. Let's see. Um, so we have. We have 86 passengers just like this and this should be our albatross limit on five stars so if you check right now we should still see and we have five stars so you can see our basic needs go goes down but that is actually because the basic needs also depend on how many passengers are on board so you want to have more food for more passengers and less food for less passengers that's just how the game makes sense as you can see they just updated and we still have five stars but if you actually add one more room for example, this suit right here, just to say, because we want a bit more passengers, so we can make a bit more money than these measly 90,000. Then just do it like this, like this, a skip and a hop and a boom. We have 19 passengers, and we should see our crowded, way, crowded ratings start going down. It seems that my calculations actually weren't that true, so let's just see. Um, let's just put some more in, just to see what the limit actually would be about, so just... Throw in a couple more rooms just like this. Uh, let's see. Let's see now if it actually works. I uh, thought it was actually that, but let's just see. Now we have a hundred and two, a hundred and two passengers. So that should be more than what is able to be on this ship. Well, to get five stars. Let's just see. Let's watch it go down. Hopefully, because that's what we're trying to get. Our crowdedness ratings just went down because we put more than the passenger limit in the ship. So about a hundred passengers, it's a bit too much, just fill around with it, it's about that limit there. So what we're going to do is remove a bit of more of our rooms, let's just see. So uh, I guess we can put about 90 people in our ship, from what I could tell. Uh, 88, let's see if that's good for the limit. Um, hopefully it is, let's just see. And there we go, so yeah, we can actually use 88 passengers to get this limit here, that's nice. Um, probably somewhere around that is just a limit for that. But basically now we want to put in a bit more basic needs because we put in a lot of more rooms and uh, now we need a lot more toilets again so we're just gonna let's just go down to the bottom deck and see uh well we could use a bit of more toilets down here so we just want to go and do something like uh this let's see it's actually let's just do some math actually that's my goal so let's just see perfect there you go as you can see we have five stars in that as well so now we want to put a bit of decorations in our uh, in our ship so a cool trick you can do if you're a beta tester beta test beta tester is that you can go to decoration and get this nice golden albatross and actually just plumb it right down somewhere in the ship i'm just gonna plumb it right in here in the middle and then we automa automatically get 15 decoration points which is nice and just again you can do a lot of with the floor actually if you just max out everything just like this for example you can do it's just an example you can make every part of the floor on your albatross marble it's going to be expensive i know i know i know that's that's obvious because it's marble because you know it's the most expensive floor but if you just do it like this right here your like your points of um decoration are so big that you actually don't even need anything else this is enough of itself to get the max decoration point which is pretty insane but um let's just quickly fill everything out here it's pretty it's it's uh it's a it's a trick you can do but uh, i recommend not doing it because it's gonna look a bit plain if it doesn't have the same floor everywhere so um but of course that's just in my opinion if you want to do that that's all up to you because that's what we're all about in here free choices um no shock um it's already on five so decoration is basically Anything that um, gives de decoration points. So um, some beds, decoration, calc, decoration, 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 decoration. Anything in furnishing has decoration. Uh, some rooms don't. The floors, you can see, you can all see down here what they have. So one decoration, two decoration, two. Uh, activities, um, four, uh, no, that's entertainment, two, three, two, two, uh, none, uh, none, and none. So, um, and this does has nothing. So, um, 
also keep out for that that it's like it says everything you need to know there so um, so getting on to variety it's definitely the one i've seen most people being confused about because it's like oh well uh, what's the variety what's that all about um i'm confused god help me um this is weird i don't like this um but basically what you want to do is just it's really simple you want to go into activities first of all because that's where most of the stuff is you want to take basically one of each item in the game because variety means you have a varied amount of things on your ship so to get good variety you want um i like a very cheap you want to have lots of stuff so we want to take we want to take a What's this? Uh, cinema. You want to take one of those, plop those in. And we want to take a bowling alley because people want to bowl. You also want to take a bar because people like to drink al non alcoholic drinks because um, you don't. Because you see, it, what it says right here aren't alcoholic. Amazing. And um, we want to take some hot tubs because people like to take baths. And we want to take a pool because people like to do pool stuff. I'm just going to go one up because, uh, yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, we don't really have a. We don't really have room for uh, that below because we have a lot of bunch of batteries, and we also want to take some chess because people like chess, right? It's a it's a little it's a funny brain game, um, but people also like um, shuffleboard. It's not a cruise ship without shuffleboard. Have you like really? Have you ever been on a cruise ship without shuffleboard? You probably haven't because you know it's a, just a cruise ship thing. So I'm just gonna plug those down, and yeah, that's not it yet. That but that's basically just all. Um, this this doesn't do anything. Don't worry. Don't care about this thing. If you do, if you do, that's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. Um, but as you see, our variety is always like already over like about half, which is epic as always. I'm just making make sure we have patches on. We do. That's nice. And you just want to do the last couple of stuff, which are in furnishing right here. You want to take a bit of sun beds. You want to take some couches. I'm like, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure like mostly everything in here just count for this. So just to see what this means, like again, this is all demonstration. I know it's ugly, it's misplaced, it's all bad, but that's only just to show you guys how this works. You are supposed to do the beautiful thing. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you guys what to do. I'm here to show you guys how this is done, not how to do it. Oh yeah, also, food places also count for variety, so we want to also, because we only have the burger place right now, we also want, because we only have the burger place right now, it's actually not, new bit that we aren't full yet, so we also want to take the pizzeria, and we also want to take the taco stand, and that should be the last things, I think, I believe, to get our stars all the way up to the top, if not, I'm just completely gonna go through and see what it is I'm missing, I'm like always missing something, I don't, I don't know why, I should probably write down what it actually is, you know does count and what doesn't and luckily for me it's everything so that's nice and entertainment the last one basically just anything that has entertainment on it which is activities or in one case the uh, sunbed right here we want to do um, basically just put entertainment on anything that fits so um, if you have want to have a bunch of these here these are very good for getting it I'm just gonna do a bunch of these just like that again demonstration please don't take this as like just fill your ship with a lot of random stuff because it's going if you want a nice you want a nice looking sh looking ship right yeah of course you do who doesn't and as you can see our ship is for some reason uh almost at the top i am very uncertain about what is actually i think it's basic needs that's calling us down from again that sweet sweet last one so i'm just gonna just gonna, just to be sure, I'm gonna take a room of toilets, just like this. I'm gonna take one of these, and we're gonna put that in here. I'm gonna take, um, what's that? I'm gonna take another food plate. No, I'm not gonna take another food plate. I'm just gonna take another toilet and see if that does anything. It did. We need another toilet. This is basically everything about star ratings in this game. Isn't that amazing? You are now a pro. In knowing everything about star ratings so now you can make it your amazing looking five star ship that is going to make billions and billions and billions of cash so yeah that is literally epic so um yeah i have nothing more to say now because this video is already very long I have, i'm gonna have to edit so much out so it's probably i don't know if you're gonna feel a bit rushed but basically this is going to be it 
for today's video. I'm actually going to make my ship look decent. I'm not gonna make it look like this ugly monstrosity that I have right now. Don't worry. But basically, that is going to be it for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And uh, if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, of course, because I'm gonna do more of this stuff. Um, hopefully, there's going to be some cruise tape tycoon updates in the future, not in the far, in, not in the so far future, or maybe there's going to be some other stuff on the channel. Who knows? I do. I maybe don't. I do. I don't know. But basically, yeah. Goodbye, guys.